What's up? How's the off day? It's nice, yeah. Hit the reset. Cool. Um, I'll just start right here. After uh, Tuesday night, uh, what gives you the indication that this uh, group is ready to play off of that uh, here for this evening? Um, you know, I think we just, uh, we're keeping a level headed. I think we played a good 60 minutes and uh, that was our goal. And I think coming tonight, we just want to continue with that momentum and focus on the positives and the results will come. What's the biggest challenge in facing a team like Vancouver that hasn't won a game yet? Uh, I mean, you know, you're going to be playing a desperate team. They're going to be playing, you know, they got nothing to lose, really. You know, they're gonna be playing hard, and they want to get that first win. So we gotta be ready for that. You know, we can't. Uh, you know, I think we've learned that we can't take any nights easy, and uh, tonight especially. You know, it's a rivalry game, and in our building too, we want to get something going here. So it's gonna be a big one for us. Is there any enjoyment in the thought that you could send them to their eighth straight winless game start the season? I mean, you know, it's kind of, I guess, nature of the business, right? You know, you're trying to rack up wins, and they're also divisional opponents, so I think that's kind of our main focus, just kind of making sure that we we kind of get the points. And um, like I said, I mean, they're they're a close team, so it's kind of a rivalry there too, right? So it's definitely one where we're going to be ready for. Rick, in terms of coming together, it's two weeks into the season here, and you mentioned momentum. How important is it to sort of build a little bit right here now? If you, this is sort of hit your stride a little bit, I guess. Huge. I mean, I think um, – any guy will tell you, I mean, you know, end of the season, you kind of look back and you don't want to be saying that, you know, we could have got a couple points here and there, right? So I think you want to get off on the right foot and, um, you know, things are such a little difference between teams. You want to make sure that, you know, you rack up as many as possible here, so. The deep pairs have been pretty much unchanged since the start of the season. What's the benefit of having that kind of consistency? Uh, it's just nice, you know, I think. You know, you obviously need time to play with someone to kind of get used to their tendencies and whatnot. And, you know, Schultz, uh, I've played with him before, but, you know, he's he's new here. So just new systems and whatnot. And um, I think it's it's been great. You know, we got a, we got a great decor and we got, a, you know, a lot of guys going to slot in different spots and play different roles. So I think it's huge. You and a few other guys, Jamie, did a really good job the last few nights of jumping up into the play from the back end. Has, has that been more of a renewed focus lately from the coaching staff, or is that just kind of more of the same from last year? Um, I'd probably say it's more of the same. You know, like I said, we got a lot of guys that can, you know, contribute in different ways, and I think that's one of the the advantages we have. You know, we got guys that can chip in offensively and and move well. So, um, you know, in the game in this day and age, I feel like you kind of need a five man unit to score goals, and I think that's uh, a big part of it. Getting that first one on Tuesday, what did the bench feel like as you got back there? I mean, I don't know what the bench felt like, but I knew it was a sigh of relief for me. You know what I mean? It's definitely nice to get that monkey off the back, right? So, um, you know, I'm, I don't think I'm a goal scorer by any stretch, but it's kind of nice to chip in once in a while, right?